All right, YouTube, we are back again with another video. And in this one, we are gonna be looking at React Query right here. Now, React Query is kind of a cool little library I've come across uh, pretty recently, and it is used for data fetching in React. Now, obviously we have our state on our client side, so we might use context or something uh, with that regard, but on our server side, um, we need to have some way of uh, managing and updating our server side state. So you can see here, uh, React Query, it's uh, used for fetching, caching, synchronizing, updating server state in uh, your React applications. And apparently, it makes it a breeze. So that is awesome. So today we're not gonna go too deep into all the specifics of everything you can do, but we are gonna check out kind of the basics and give you an intro into how it all works. So I guess uh, without further ado, let's jump into the application. All right, so I just have a basic create React app set up uh, right here and I've just uh, deleted some of the initial boilerplate that comes with that. So. Uh, we are gonna need, I guess, just two things. So open up a integrated terminal here, and we're gonna come in and we are gonna go, I'm gonna use Yarn, but you can use uh, NPM or um, if you prefer that. So we're gonna go Yarn add, and we are gonna add React uh, dash query, and that's that library. And on top of that, we are also going to add uh, Axios. Um, and again, you can use fetch or something if you prefer, but I just like Axios, it uh, looks a little cleaner to me. So we're gonna let that download and uh, we'll be right back. All right, so that is good. Um, and for this demonstration, we are gonna be using um, this JSON placeholder as a kind of a fake API um, that we will be hitting to get, you can get different things here, to do's and stuff. We're gonna use it uh, for there, where is it here? Uh, users is what we're going to be hitting. Um, so that is that. All right, so we're back here. And the first thing we want to be able to do is uh, come up to the top and we're going to import and we are going to go use query. And that is from the package we just downloaded. So that's React Query. Great. And then below that, we also want to import. Uh, Axios, and that is from Axios. Okay, and then we're gonna come down in here, and we're just going to show you how it all works. So, uh, come in here, right below our app here, and we're gonna go const, and we're gonna have is loading, and we're gonna have error, and these are the different states that we're gonna have. And then we're gonna have the data if it's neither uh, loading or if there's no error state. And then we're gonna go equal and that's use query. And we are gonna be getting from there. Uh, we're gonna get users, we'll call it here. And then we're gonna have a inline arrow function here. And we're gonna use uh, Axios. And we're gonna go axios.get. And then in here, um, we're gonna have our URL for our backend that we're gonna paste in. So I'm just gonna paste this in here. So it's JSON placeholder dot, uh, type code dot com slash users. And that's gonna return to us, I think it's 10 users or something. And then uh, let's just save that. It'll reformat for us here. Okay, and then after that, we're just gonna throw a dot then on there. And here we're gonna go and get the response, which is that, uh, and an arrow and get the response dot data will get us our data back. Okay, so we can go ahead and save that. Uh, come down below here. And um, now we wanna use kind of these two states, uh, the error state and the is loading. And by the way, if you've ever used uh, React Apollo, if you're uh, into GraphQL or anything, this might look super familiar because even down to the use query, it's basically the exact same thing. So that is pretty neat. So let's go if, and we'll go is loading. So if it's loading, then we're just gonna return and we're just gonna go loading, triple dot. And then below that, we're gonna go if 
error, and then we're going to return, and we'll say an error has occurred. And in that, uh, yeah, and then that is fine. Oh, we can add the error message, I guess, too. Um, so let's go like this, and then we'll go plus error.message, because we want to actually get the, the error message that's returned from here. So we got our is loading used, we got our error used, and now we want to see what kind of data we're working with here. So we're just going to go console.log here, and let's go data. Uh, let's just see what that returns here. Okay, so actually we need to run this. So uh, let's run our app, uh, we'll go yarn start. And that'll uh, get our app going. All right, so our app is up and running. Looks like it's not broken yet, so that's good. So let's open up uh, the source here and let's go over to our console. And you can see here, if you ignore some of this stuff, um, you can see we're getting all our data here. I might be a bit small. Uh, all this here. So that is great. So let's come back over. Now, what we're gonna wanna do here, we know we got our data, it's returning the name and the ID. So why don't we go ahead and we can just print that stuff out to the screen so you can see how that works. So we're gonna open up some brackets and go data.map and we're gonna go user. We'll call it user, anything you want there though. And we're gonna go uh, arrow function here. And inside of here, let's do, let's say H3. And we have to have a key on this in React. So that's, our key is gonna be user.id. And then in here, we are gonna go user.name. And let's go ahead and save that. We can uh, give, us a little, give us a little more room right here. Okay, so that's our function. Now let's go see if that works. All right, so you can see this is printing out our list of users, which is exactly what we thought it would be doing. So great, so that works good. Now, this is just like the tip of the iceberg of uh, what we can do with this. So there's a bunch of other functions. So let's go and just check them out here real quick. This kind of gives us um, a little more information. I'd suggest going ahead and just reading this and checking it out. Um, so some different things, if you see all these functions here, there's stuff called like stale time. So if you aren't using uh, the, the app for a second, if your screen's not showing, um, you can kind of uh, customize how long you want for, uh, you have refreshes, you have cache time, all these different things, refetch interval, so you can customize when you want it to refresh, all that, uh, refetch rather, all that sort of thing. Uh, refresh in the background, so, so stuff like that. Uh, so a ton of different customization that you can add uh, to this, which is uh, pretty sweet. All right, so that's just kind of a basic overview of React Query. Um, I suggest reading through the doc, docs and uh, checking it out and seeing uh, if it might fit your needs. So hopefully uh, this was useful. Um, if you liked the video, go ahead and subscribe or give it a like. And until the next video, thanks for watching.